Hello, welcome to the Guitar and Harmonica YouTube channel. Uh, today we're in the key of F. I uh, have an F harmonica here in the rack. Uh, we're playing in straight harp style and we're looking at the outro uh, guitar harmonica solo on um, Bob Dylan's song, I Want You. In the previous video, we looked at the intro uh, harmonica solo that he plays over the, the guitar uh, chord progression. And today, like I say, we're going to look at the outro. Um, and on guitar, we'll just kind of review real quick. We'll look at the strum pattern that Dylan used and the uh, chord progression and the kind of the general song structure. And then uh, we'll go ahead and cover that out, uh, outro harmonica solo that Dylan plays on this song. All right. So on guitar, uh, we're going to be using a strum pattern that uh, he played. I'm, uh, we're going to start on our root. Uh, one chord and I'm fingering it uh, with my index finger uh, on the first fret B and high E string and then uh, my middle finger there on the A note at the uh, uh, G string second fret and then my um, ring fingers covering the uh, the um, D string third fret there that F note now you could just play this and then use that F note as, as your bass note I'm grabbing the uh, low E string at the first fret with my thumb. Um, you can capo, you have other options. If you have a different harmonica key you want to play in, you can always capo and, and uh, try playing this there. Um, the pattern's going to look like this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and hit that bass note on uh, the, the one of each chord, and then I'm going to go down for beat two. And then on beat three, I'm going to play an upstroke on the off beat. So it's going to be one, two, three, and, one, two, three, and, and then on beat four, we're going to go down, up, so one, two, all right, just try and lock that in as best as you can, um, you know, you're going to play some variations along the way, and that's fine, um, but that's general, generally the idea. Start slow. Uh, if you're using a metronome, you know, you always want to start slow and you can always uh, work, uh, you know, get it steady and build up speed. Um, so the intro uh, uh, is the same as the chorus progression. And we covered the harmonica solo because this is where, where he plays on the intro part over F, F, A minor, A minor, D minor. D minor, C, C, and then there's four bars of F here. That's the intro and the chorus progression. And then he goes into the first verse, um, which is a 16 bar progression. It goes F, F, A minor, A minor, D minor, D minor, C. C. So you'd probably notice it's the same as the first eight bars of the intro and the chorus. And then for the verse, he drops down, he goes to a B flat. So I'm grabbing that B note there on the A string first fret. And then C. And then D minor again. D minor. And then C. And that's the entire verse progression, all right? So he goes uh, harmonica intro first verse and then he goes to the uh, chorus progression which is the same as the intro progression and he plays a um, the first chorus he sings over that and then he plays a second verse and he plays a sings a second chorus and then there's a eight bar bridge uh, which is a minor a minor D minor D minor and then a minor a minor B flat, C, and then he hangs out on that C for a little while until he gets into the third verse. Okay, he goes back to the F again and through that progression, um, and then a, a third chorus, and then a fourth verse and a fourth chorus, and then he plays the outro harmonica solo, which we'll look at. All right, so that's the entire uh, song structure, and um, on harmonica. 
like I say, he only plays the intro and the outro here, so there's nothing, you know, as far as the turnarounds or anything like that. So I thought stylistically this this would be a good song to look at, give us some ideas for our own material where we might want to throw our harmonica stuff in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sing coming out of the last uh, uh, chorus because I want to show you kind of where the, the, the harp solo starts all right so don't mind my singing um but it, it sounds it goes something like this it goes i want you honey i want you i want you so bad honey i want you all right and that's then where the uh, harmonica solo comes in all right so there's i want you you're on your f Honey, I want you, the D, A minor. Honey, I want you, D minor. So bad, C. And then he plays, I want you. Which is a typical of the chorus, but rather than playing those four bars of F, he switches over to an A minor, and that's where the harmonica solo starts, all right? So um, you're gonna play an A minor, an A minor, in a D minor and a D minor. And for the A minor, A minor, and first D minor, we're gonna hold a five, six blow. And then on that second D minor, and you may remember this from the intro solo that he played if you uh, go back and check that video out, or if you memorized it, over the D minor he plays this lick here. It's a six draw, six blow, and then hop down to the five hole and draw blow. So we got first four, first four bars, A minor, A minor, D minor, D minor. time all right the second four bars are c c f f and you might remember this from the intro solo two when he gets to the c he goes to the the four draw and he holds that and he kind of throws in some bent notes with that And then when he gets that, that's the first to the two bars of the C. And then for the two bars of the F, he hops up around six, seven, eight, slides up there and blows. So he's kind of doing a quick in, out, in, out, in, out there. And he pretty much stays around six, seven, eight. All right, so let's run that from the top, from the first A minor. Five, six, blow, and he holds that for the first two A minors and the first D minor. Six draw, six blow, five draw, five blow. And then C goes up to the four draw. And then he goes to the F, he goes up around six, seven, eight. Um, he, he blows out there uh, for the first bar and then for the second bar, he, he's doing that quick in, out, in, out, in, out. You know, just kind of work with that. You can um, uh, play with it. All right. Now on the D minor, he goes up a little higher. So now he's, uh, we were at six, seven, eight. Now he's around seven, eight, nine. And he's doing that same pattern. He blows out. For the first D minor, and then for the second D minor, he's in, out, in, out, in, out. All right, and then he goes to two bars of C, 
where he goes even up a little higher, seven, eight, nine around, right, right around the same place, but he draws. So he's really been getting a lot of tension there. And then he's kind of going out, in, out, in, out, in. So he reversed the in, out, in, out, in, out. So it's in on the, the C. Uh, well, let's play the D minor and then go up to the C. So D minor. Okay, so that C sounds higher because he's drawing um, than the D minors. And then the song fades out at that point. I would just go to the F to resolve it. Uh, you can go to the five, four, five, six uh, blow. You can play that little lick that he plays in the intro, the six draw, six blow, five drum. kind of hang out on that F uh, to end it. Um, like I say on the recording, he fades out. And, um, you know, as you probably know, every Dylan recording is probably a little different. Um, he didn't really use his harmonica playing as a as a, a hook or anything. It was more just as a backing instrument. Um, so there is a lot of variation in his playing, but this gets us real close to in the ballpark of, on his original recording of this song, um, I Want You, again, by Bob Dylan. Um, so let, let's, for some context, I'm going to go ahead and sing it, um, and then, again, you want to get familiar with where it comes in. So he's, he starts on the chorus, F, uh, I want you, honey, I want you. I want you so bad Honey, I want you And then he starts on the A minor That's kind of the outro. Um, uh, we'll, we'll go through it one more time. I guess uh, let me walk through it. Well, um, on A minor, A minor, D minor, we're five, six blow. If you get some other holes in there, don't worry about it. It's probably got four there, um, but that's close enough. And then on the second D minor, he's doing that draw, blow, uh, six, five lick. So the first four bars. And then C, we're going to the four, four draw. Uh, seven eight and then we're in out in out in out and go in out in out or in out in out in out uh, two or three um, uh, he may do four in there sometimes too you can tell he's been playing a song for a while because he's he's nails it he's doing plays a great harp uh, part there and then D minor eight nine and then C in seven eight nine all right let's do that with C one more time anything to end it just Hang out on that F chord there in the four, five, six area. You can finish it. All right. So play around with that. Have some fun with it. Listen to the recording. Um, it's um, it's off. Uh, uh, I can't even think of what record it's on right now, but it's it's on one of those first few uh, albums that he put out.
and um, it's called I Want You, and uh, it's a great place to start um, as far as, you know, figuring out some stuff that we can play in our own material. All right, so have fun with that, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back real soon with another video. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing here. You can just click on the link. And then um, also, uh, if you're on Facebook, say hello to us at, face, at um, Guitar and Harmonica, all right, on Facebook. And then our website is Guitar and Harmonica. Dot com. We got a whole uh, set of books here devoted to playing guitar and harmonica together. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.